now we've got uh, we've got Louise, who's the vice president of the NUT. She's going to say very little because she knows it's very what little. Said. And then we've got a short play by Not me. Accessible Areas. And John McDonald isn't here, although he never lets anybody down. He'll probably run here when we're eating and drinking, and then we'll all stop and listen again for five minutes. Um, so, Louise. Louise Reed. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's very loud. Is that okay? Uh, thank you very much. My name is Louise Regan. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. My name is Louise Regan. I'm the Vice President of the National Union of Teachers. Um, and it's an absolute honour for me to be here. Uh, I was at the launch earlier today where the edu education pack uh, was launched. And I think that that's going to be a really valuable tool for the NUT to use with our members and encourage them to, to use that in schools, uh, but also to educate themselves about the history of um, the disabled people's movement and what has happened over time. I'll just say a couple of quick things. Really. I've known Richard for a long time. I'm very honoured to know Richard. He's been very active in the National Union of Teachers and been a real voice for the disabled people's movement. Um, but I'm also very lucky to have been a teacher in Nottinghamshire, so that's where I teach, I'm still a teacher now. And Nottinghamshire had a, an, a policy of inclusion very early on in the 90s, so when I first started teaching, Nottinghamshire introduced a policy called Children First, uh, which was around inclusion. And they did huge amounts of work, very good work, very pioneering work, uh, including as a new qualified teacher, I had training on... Uh, the social model of disability versus the medical model. So a long time ago, we did lots of work around that and educated our teachers about it. And it did structure the way that lots of our schools were. So I work in a very inclusive school uh, and always have and hopefully always will. But what I would just say to you is that the current work that this government is doing in education is destroying some of the very good work that schools have done. And over the past few years, I have started to see a dip in inclusion, particularly in Nottinghamshire, but probably that's replicated up and down the country. Um, increasing numbers of parents who feel that their children are being pushed out and excluded in our schools. And lots of that is around the curriculum, and particularly around the very oppressive regime in primary schools. So last year we had terrible tests at the end of year six, uh, which saw lots of children, over half, well, nearly half of children in the country were told that they had failed, that they hadn't reached the expected standard. And I know that lots of those children will be pupils, of, you know, um, with disabilities, um, disabled pupils who were told that and have gone on to secondary school feeling that they have failed when we know they haven't. We know that they've made very good progress in lots of areas and in lots of things, but our curriculum has become narrowed to something that can be tested, and I don't believe that's what education should be about. So we've also seen this government attack adults, and I'm, you know, we've heard some terrible stories uh, today, and I heard some earlier. And what I would say, and what the NUT will be doing, is joining with people uh, you know, like Richard and groups that are out there campaigning, and I would say to all of you, that's our job. Our job now is to stand with people, to stand together, to stand united, opposing the government, which continues to attack people, because everybody in our society is entitled to an equal education, to, to an equally accessible education, and entitled to live uh, you know, with the things that they require and they need. They shouldn't have to you know, fight for those or have things removed from them, as we've heard earlier today. So please join with us. Thank you very much, Richard. It's been an absolute honour to know you over the years. I would say you've been a very good voice uh, in, the, in the ABT uh, at times when there were people that opposed some of the work that Richard was doing, but we've moved a long way as a union. Uh, and I think we have made gains, but we are in danger of losing those in our schools. So please do support the work that they're doing. And thank you very much for inviting me.